I'm gonna open up a beer and uh, I rinse this glass out so it looks like that. And uh, compared <laughs> compare to this. Now, this is not a hazy beer. This I think is, and this is a very classic East Coast beer, Julius. Uh, I don't think it needs too much introduction. Treehouse makes it, everyone knows this. And one of Sarah's older co-workers moved to Boston recently, got a hold of it, and actually sent, uh, sent us some. So, uh, gonna give this a go in a comparison to it. Um, they also sent us, he also sent a stout, uh, an imperial uh, stout, a blonde, and there's another IPA that he had sent also, it is a green can. I don't remember what it was called, but it was very delicious. So, uh, let's see, let's give, <laughs> let's give a comparison to my New Zealand, a little grassy IPA. This is gonna be drastically different. And this was canned in uh, October 17th. So we're a little over a month right now on that. So I did want to get to this too. So the appearance is obviously, well, a little different actually. I thought this would be a lot more cloudy, a lot more hazy, very similar actually. This is darker though. Let's see the smell comparison. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun. This is way, this is way more pungent. Actually, 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 it's not that more pungent. In back to back. This is much more refined. Juicier is the smell like I would give it. Like just really, oh, like smelling a fresh mango. Like if you really cut one up and you just like put it to your nose, that's what you get. This is a little more spicy, uh, like peppery, I should say. But a little more citrus. Not quite as mango-y as this is like freaking like mango bomb smell. It's a little bit more, it's not quite as juicy as I would want it to be for what this brand is. Granted, this is a month old. I do understand that. I can't knock it too much for that. And it had to go, you know, be shipped across the US. A little more bitter in the bite and a little more like tangy. Like mango tang. It's a weird description. Lighter, a little more waterier, a little more one dimensional, a little more complex, and a hair more fruity, but not that far off. Like, I could actually drink these back to back and not be too disappointed in my efforts. I am harsh on myself sometimes, and I partly also the reason why I wanted to open up one of these cans next one, one of my IPAs, is to really like put it into, into perspective. Really not that much different. Um, yeah, this is still a little more fuller bodied, a little more pungent, a little more in your face. A little more subdued, a little more watery. Watery is not the right word. Just a little more, not quite as pungent and in your face, but very, very delicious. I'm very, very, very close to this. A lot closer than I thought. I mean, this is a very, 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 very well-made beer. I see why it's very, very popular. I see why it is sought after. There are a lot of breweries doing this, these kind of beers though, especially, um, you know, in Southern California. So it doesn't like, to me, like separate itself from those necessarily. Breweries like Munford, Green Cheek, Beechwood, Chapman, El Segundo. I'm missing a couple I'm sure that I think are spectacular, but this is a very well-made beer. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more, as always. And see you next time.